Hey guys, I am standing out here in front of 8916 Lackland. This is a property that we just bought yesterday, or the day before, a couple days ago. We bought this from a wholesaler. Let's do a quick walk around and just take a look. Hey guys, I am standing out here in front of 8916 Lackland. This is a property that we just bought yesterday, or the day before, or a couple days ago. Uh, we bought this from a wholesaler. Paid 110,000 for this property, and we are going to do a small renovation, maybe 20, 25 thousand dollars worth of work, and then we might either flip this home or we may keep it as a rental burr. The beautiful thing about this home is, is that we did not use any of our own money to buy it. We have a private lender that we use to purchase, help us purchase it, as well as that same private lender that we are using to help us with the rehab. The numbers are as follows, 110 for the purchase, call it 25,000 for the rehab, that'll put us at about 135. This property has an ARV of around 180,000. Um, so we're gonna have a pretty decent amount of gross spread on this one. We should, we should hopefully clear around 30,000, maybe a little more if we were to sell this property, but we might decide to end up just keeping this as a rental. It's designed right now as a four bedroom bath, and uh, it was in pretty good shape if we bought it. So let's do a quick walk around and just take a look. Okay, we got some fans going and my microphone isn't working today, so the audio in this video is probably not the greatest, I apologize. Uh, this is our family room. When you walk in, we got paper down. So we're gonna be painting the walls, maybe even the ceilings, but all in all, it was pretty good. We've already cleaned it out. Over here on the right, we're gonna have two bedrooms and a bathroom. Just kind of peek in there, Holly. You're good, man. Back this way, we have ourselves a kitchen. And uh, the countertops and the cabinets in this place are in good shape. We'll probably end up uh, doing something to clean these cabinets up a little bit. But they're all in, in decent shape, so there's really no reason to rip them out. I'd imagine that we'll probably want to get a new range and a new um, dishwasher and microwave to match the fridge. The fridge is actually in really good shape, so we're gonna keep this fridge. Um, as you can see, they're getting ready to prep all the paint work. Um, the floors in this home will probably need a little bit of touch up too, but they're not in bad shape. So we may decide to sand them down and refinish them. We may just go over the top with some vinyl plate. So you already saw there's two bedrooms and a bathroom on this side. We have two additional bedrooms upstairs, and then the basement needs some work, so let's check those out. All right, here's the upstairs. This is essentially is one of the bedrooms, and it doesn't have um, a door, an isolated door, but we're gonna keep it the way that it is. I guess if somebody wanted to build a wall and a door, they could. It's pretty big and open. There's some built-in cabinets and drawers. Nothing special up here. There's another room behind the door that you walk into here. And, uh, you know, this is essentially the fourth bedroom. So, I don't know, I kind of look at this as a three bedroom with a bonus, but on the tax records, this home is already listed as a four bedroom, two bath. Let's go down in the basement and we can check out what that looks like. When we bought this home a couple days ago, it, it had a lot of stuff in it. So the last two days, our guys have been over here uh, just emptying the home out. They filled up a big 40 yard dumpster, which you'll see in the driveway in a second. And um, we're gonna keep that dumpster here just for excess you know, waste and materials while we're finishing up this rehab. But this is a quick one. I mean, I'd imagine that we'll have this thing turned in two to three weeks. And then at that point, we're gonna decide, hey, what do the comps look like? Has anything changed? Again, right, right now we're seeing about 180, give or take on the ARV. Um, we might end up just deciding to keep this as a rental, like I mentioned out in the front, in the front lawn. Um, not really too sure yet, but either way, we bought it at a discount, and that's the most important part. You gotta buy properties at deep discounts if you wanna have options, and the better discount you get, the more options you have. Let's check out the basement. All right, we're down in the basement. Now, this basement was really, really bad. There was like tons and tons of stuff in the way, and it was gross, and it still is kinda gross, uh, but we're cleaning it up. These walls are gonna need to get removed, you can kind of see down here, it's all rotted. You have yourself a cinder block basement. You can see that the 
the, the old paint is all just chipping and peeling. Um, so we're going to need to remove these walls. Um, we've already removed the walls back on this side and we've had our guys scrape these walls. What we'll end up doing is, is we'll, we'll use some hydraulic cement and kind of glaze over them and then we'll paint them. And then we'll most likely do something with the floors down here. Maybe we'll scrape this tile up and paint it. We might just go over the top after we clean it really good um, with some vinyl plank. But basically, this is just the basement. It's simple, it's, it's, it will be clean. Not necessarily as right the second, but it will be. Um, and then we have another bathroom down here as well. Here's the bathroom. You can see it already has a shower built in. We'll need to clean the floors a little bit. And you have a toilet and a vanity over on this side. It definitely needs to be clean, but it's nice having this extra bathroom in the basement because it's a full bathroom with the shower. Um, bringing this house again to a four bedroom, two bath. So quick and easy little flip, possibly keep it as a rental. I don't know, we need to figure that out. Uh, but I just wanted to show you guys the latest project that we're working on. Haven't made a YouTube video recently, so trying to get back in the swing of things and making content for you all so you can learn how to flip houses, especially learn how to flip houses using none of your own money like we're doing. Learn how to network and find private and hard money lenders so you can do this with none of your own money. Let's go do a quick walk around the outside and then we'll wrap it up. Hey guys, look, notice that the plumbing stack on this house is pretty nasty. And um, we are most likely going to need to replace the stack. You can see there's barnacles all over the outside. It's possible that we could clean it up and maybe patch it a little bit. That's a short-term solution. What you really should do in this case is, uh, is remove it and replace it all together. So I'm not exactly sure what the guys had in mind, but uh, that's something we definitely need to address at a minimum. And then what we're most likely going to do here is we're going to put drywall along this wall right here, just so our utility closet and room is somewhat separ separated and, and, and you know pushed off from what we were gonna to refer to this down here as just our bonus room. So 20, 25 grand should be enough to get this property in, enough, in, in good enough shape to either be able to sell it pretty quickly or to rent it. Let's walk around the outside. All right, here's the back of the house. You can see we do have a one car detached garage, which is nice. Uh, the driveway is blacktop, it's in pretty decent shape, and we have a, a porch off the back. We just walked out this exterior, uh, or this, this basement door, and you can see it got a light up here. Uh, the roof's in really good shape. Let's show the roof. The roof's in really, really good shape. It has to do with little minor touches to it. Chimney also looks really good. Uh, but it is nice having this porch off the back of the home. Uh, because it's just going to allow the tenants and or the buyers to have a little bit of excess space um, to, you know, hang out and just have more livable area. So, all in all, great property. The condenser on the side of the home was here when we bought it. It's in good shape as well. We're not going to really do much with it. We're just going to keep it serviced, the HVAC, and uh, that's a wrap. So hopefully you guys enjoyed this uh, little update. Again, haven't made a YouTube video recently trying to get back in the swing of things. Uh, thanks for watching. Make sure you like and subscribe. See ya.